we are less than one month away. The IndyCar Series heads back to Barber for the Grand Prix of Alabama on April 22nd. Scott Dixon's a four-time circuit winner, and he was kind enough to join us on our set this week to talk all things IndyCar as we count down to the race. I think when we all first came to Alabama for the first time, we thought it was a track that wouldn't create very good racing because there's not a lot of big straights. Um, it's quite tight, uh, you know, and, and typically for an Indy car, it, it wouldn't have been good. But boy, were they wrong. Of all the stops on the Indy car circuit, just about every driver will say Barber's in their top three tracks to race on. I think it's more the, it's the vibe, you know, I think you've got the trees, you've got the crowd that are in there, there's something for everybody to come and, you know, be a part of. It's a really cool road course uh, with lots of elevation change, it's very high speed, it's very demanding, but there's also uh, not much runoff, right, so it's, it's quite high risk. Dixon and a bunch of the guys were in town this week to do some testing, and they said something real interesting. 90% of their success comes from days in the off-season, not on actual race day. Myself training at home, making sure you're physically fit enough to putting in the effort of, you know, going through the data, the, the videos, all the information to consume as much as you can. Because unfortunately, on a race weekend, you don't have that much time. You have three practice sessions, you have qualifying, you go, to, you go into your race. Dixon and his crew were doing something right. He's been in second place four times at Barber, but you could see that as a bad thing. But I've never won here. I've had, uh, I think, five or six second place finishes and a couple of thirds. So, you know, hopefully one of these years I can <laughs> finally get to that top step. Call that. They call that always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Maybe he can be the winner come April 22nd. It's Sunday at 2 o'clock.